welcome back to the channel welcome back to another vlog if y'all are new here my name is chrissy hello and welcome if you guys are returning you made the right decision y'all made the right decision anyway just by clicking on the video okay so y'all welcome back to another vlog today is currently friday so i guess it would be like more of a weekend vlog guys honestly i've been so busy this week and just like kind of all over the place because really i've just been trying to get um my life together my home together i don't know if i told y'all but i am uh, <laughs> i'm signing with a management group uh, <laughs> i'm getting ready to start my two-month trial with him um which i'm really excited about like I'm all here for a trial because it'll make me comfortable knowing that they're the people I want to represent me and um, them knowing that I'm the perfect match for them, you know? So I start with them this month, like in a couple of weeks. I just want to like make sure I have my mind right. My home is on point. I'm doing a little bit of redecorating. I'm trying to get together, you know? I have an event this weekend, a little influencer event with Black Girl Sunscreen. And I'm going to happy hour. Today is my mommy's birthday. So I'm going to go run a few errands and then um, go to the house and do some birthday things with her a little later. So yeah, y'all, it's just like, I'm like all over the place. Like, I don't know if y'all like me, but when I have a bunch of stuff to do, I am like frazzled and I'm like, dang, I need an assistant. I need something. I need somebody helping me out. Running half of my errands, baby. I like, listen i like the soft life movement i very much live for a soft life because your girl be tired your girl be just in a tizzy all over the place like i don't like running errands i don't like you know it's just like oh, or i broke my nail i gotta go to the nail shop tomorrow and just like oh god <laughs> please <laughs> but of course i'm so grateful for blessings and i do enjoy being kind of busy because when you're busy that means you got things to do you making money you important you know what i mean so yeah y'all i'm about to go out the house i want to i gotta go to target pick up some stuff because i ran out of some cleaning supplies i should pick up order for that because i was like i ain't got time to be running through target after that um i also have an order that's ready at miss lola i don't know if i'm gonna get to that today i'll probably get that tomorrow uh, after Target, I need to, oh Lord, okay, after Target, I need to go and get my mom a cake. Um, that's what I'm in charge of today. I also want to run by Trader Joe's, pick her up some flowers. Um, oh, I want to go to Marshall's too, so I think after Target, I'm going to go to Marshall's and then get the cake and then get the flowers if I have time, because my dad told me to be at the house about 5, 5.30, so I don't want to be late, and it is like... Yeah, I don't know where my phone is. It's like two o'clock. So I gotta go. Um, hopefully there's no traffic on the freeway. We look good today. Y'all like the sleek black. I kind of chopped it so it's like medium length. Like, and don't y'all, I, I really don't remember where I got this unit from. This unit is kind of old, but I feel like it makes my face look like I like look at alien. Alien superstar. Anyways, <laughs> alright y'all, let's go because I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. Alright y'all, so I'm at Target. I just picked up my order. It's still a little Target haul. Let's see what I got. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Ew, now we being old, being excited for house things, okay? I got a scrub daddy, y'all. I have been wanting a scrub daddy and I just keep forgetting to get it, but I think it's so freaking cute. They're just having like a regular scrubber or sponge or you know in my sink like a little scrub daddy and it's scratch free and dishwasher safe and it deep cleans and it has a versatile smile like me <laughs> and then let's see what else i got because i don't even remember honey oh i got some glade plugins you guys these are my favorite glade plugins these just smell so like grown and sexy and good i actually like this scent for my bedroom and for the bathroom or like my hallway area and then i have another scent it's like it's not cashmere woods no i think it is cashmere woods that i like for my living room kitchen vibe you know and then i got some comet for the bathroom the sinks of course i got my clorox bleach <laughs> fighting off viruses and whatnot i gotta go back into quarantine covid mode and i just feel like we got too comfortable like we got a little bit too comfortable knowing how to like manage covid and then the world said monkey pox and i said 
immediately no absolutely not like i'm going back to mass oh i got this cute little hand towel it matches like my home decor really well in my bathroom it's from let me see chat it's from opal house that's the brand and target and then i got a bunch of clorox wipes y'all because they say they say i found this on tiktok and my friend told me she said that clorox wipes not lysol wipes clorox wipes are the ones that are better for killing off monkey pox okay monkey pox specifically i know they work for i'm pretty sure like covid as well but i'm not too concerned about covid at the moment i'm more concerned about the monkey pox okay and then i also got the to-go pack so i can wipe down everything and wipe down my hands and stuff and people touch me and just oh i have my oh i have my hand sanitizer and everything but i feel like i need a little extra with this monkey pox like i'm gonna wipe down my phone i need to wipe down my purse i need to wipe down every single thing like my keys just like i just i cannot and i just got some paper towels of course some little house things but yeah y'all mm, mm, mm. i was telling my friend i'm like if i <laughs> like i have not y'all i kid you not it is a blessing but i have never had covid i've never had covid all these two plus years we've been dealing with covid i never got it thank god for that blessing i've never got it and nobody in my family has had it <laughs> not my brothers not my sisters not my nieces nephews mom dad nobody uncles aunts no one cousins like no one in my family has had covid thank god um i don't want it at all but like monkey pox is on a different level like i'm not like super no, I'm super afraid of monkey pox, but like, I'm not like, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Like, cause I'm very much like, uh -uh, I'm not hugging it, I'm not kissing it, I'm not cuddling it, I'm not, you know, cause also I feel like dudes will not tell you what they've been hugging and kissing and cuddling on somebody else. And sometimes men are a little bit reckless. So like, I'm just like good, you know what I mean? Cause if I get monkey pox and I said this like in my last video as to why I'm like chilling on dating at the moment, but y'all, if I get monkeypox, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, it's no, like, there's gonna be no rational, like, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. You all are gonna have to, like, literally, my family's gonna have to check me in. You check me in somewhere, an asylum, a hospital, because, like, it's one thing to be sick, <laughs> but, like, my face, <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's it's wild like i don't mean to like i don't want to be insensitive to anyone that has it or anyone that knows anyone that has it but it is just like wild so the second that vaccine i have no issue with vaccines y'all the second that monkeypox vaccine is available to the public i know right now it's only available to the lgbtq plus community um but when it is available to us all, I will be going to get it first and <laughs> I will be there because immediately now, like absolutely not. I cannot do it. Y'all, how I ended up at McDonald's is beyond me. <laughs> Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. I don't think I'm eating today. Well, I'm really just here for water. <laughs> I really just here for ice cold water because it's so hot and it's just like I really just want water even though I know they have Dasani but like it's so hot like I'm just like y'all give me a, like I would just I, I want like a cup of like ice water or something like I'm not even here for the food or anything like that even though I really have not eaten all day but I just want something like refreshing ice cold maybe a tea because i really i like really try to cut mcdonald's you know out of my diet but i've been so good like i have not had i haven't had fast food this week i haven't had fast food this week at all so i'm really about to be good i'm really about to, be good. I'm really about to, be good to get water for real hi welcome to mcdonald's what can i get for you hi um can i get a mm, can i get a spicy mcchicken 
Um, and then just the uh, can I have a small fry? Small fry, anything else? And can I get like a large cup of water? I'll pay for it. Or... Large cup of water, ice cream. Anything else? Um, no, that'll be all. Okay, you're... you said that's it? Yes. Okay, it's gonna be five fifty nine at the first. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. And don't and shut up. <laughs> and don't comment down below. Let me tell you what happened. I was gonna be strong and I was gonna get like a Diet Coke, some water, because I'm about to hop on the freeway. So like I want something to like sip on. But then what happened is that I was I am a little hungry, okay? So I rolled out my window and all I could smell were fries and food and I was like you know what I'm gonna get a little something to nibble on because one thing about it I knew that y'all don't want me to stop oh mommy about to hit this pole y'all don't want me to starve right as I could have picked a better option it's like an El Pueblo or something next door McDonald's is just like super quick <laughs> you guys progress okay it's it's one it's one step at a time like be patient with me because some of y'all be wanting to call me like this is why you can't lose weight this is why you're fat it's like blah, blah, blah. mcdonald's isn't good for you okay that man ain't good for you either that man gonna cause you an earlier death than mcdonald's okay i want an apple pay yeah category bad I'm the ball. Y'all know what I love about Beyonce and just like this album and pretty much every album is just the fact that like Beyonce has literally transcended to a place where like she doesn't care about how do I say this without sounding like a bigot. I can't believe someone called me a bigot in my last video because I said that I never thought I'd be that like up in my feelings about a white man when what I meant was I never thought like I'd have you know anything in common same interest like I didn't know if I'd vibe well like I, you know I was raised in black community around black people most of the time like it's just like I don't know some of y'all but anyways <laughs> she just doesn't care about like if she what she's saying is like politically correct or if it's gonna like offend like she just like has really transcended past that place and when i tell y'all like beyonce really makes music for i don't like okay like i don't want to i've been trying to watch my mouth now but like i'm just gonna say it like i feel like beyonce makes music for black women black folk and the gays like at the end of the day because it's just like certain references that she makes that like only we can get or like certain samples in the songs and like things that are so specific to the african-american community and i love that from beyonce because beyonce is that figure that is just like and i just love how she stands up for us and how she stands for black businesses like telfar and just like so many others like I don't know like I've been in my eyes Beyonce really can't do too much wrong like at first I was like do I like the album and then I was like yeah I like it like it really it grows on you and you really have to listen to it and you have to get it and you have to understand it and you have to appreciate it for its difference from the rest of her music like her music is still there like we can go back and listen to you know whatever but like I can appreciate the artistry and the difference like and I enjoy hearing like the samples and just like how Beyonce like like I just I just I don't know I'm enjoying this album it's like you know what I mean it's like dance around in the summer like carefree with your girls like get ready to go out type of vibes like it's a good freaking album like shout out to B and she really like she be taking her time to like bring us masterpieces and she just be like dropping it and sitting back and like and be like I'm gonna let that marinate on them like they gonna get it they gonna get it you know outside in the AMG right outside Baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas proud me I had it done Gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by I'm outside in the AMG Right outside 
outside DT Two-time, baby girl, you know me Call the shorty off a fan and start Just the one I'm really a supreme shot Way that I've been living, I'm conventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to gold Rather see my heart turn crystal Inside a crib on my own Soon as I freak up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me, ride or die Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Outside in a LG, right outside, PT, two time, baby girl, you know me. Oh my, all the niggas around me, all the niggas Gotta watch your time, this is flying right by. Two time, baby girl, you know me. I am making good time. Just got done with Marshalls. It's 4.03. I spent $107, which isn't bad. Like, it's not bad, bad. Because I really did get, like, essentials that I needed for the house, you know? Plus, I got this cute little blanket on clearance. I was like, oh, this is real cute. Okay. Um, but... Uh, so I got everything I need out of Marshall's. I'll give you a cute little haul later. Y'all did not tell me. Marshall might be giving a little bit more than Home Goods. Like Home Goods, I don't know. Home Goods is like it's so hit and miss. And I feel like Home Goods um, is a little bit more expensive than Marshall's. But to me, I don't know if it's just this Marshall's. Y'all let me know. I'm at the Marshall's right off of. Um, La Tijera in LA off of like what is that Sint no this is not Sint Chow off La Tijera La Tijera yeah girl let me stop acting like I didn't grow up with this area my whole life but um this is a, actually a big Marshalls it's a newer Marshalls and they just have some really good collection they just have some really good selections like really cute like little home decor stuff and everything um so i have to keep that in mind because home goods is just a waste of time and money like every time i go i never really like find what i'm looking for and i found pretty much everything here with the exception of like one thing but maybe i just like gloss over it but anyway since we're making good time i need to go to trader joe's and pick up some flowers for my mommy and then i should also get my flowers while i'm there kill two birds and one stone and then i will go to the grocery store to pick up a cake um i really should have got her cake done but i just didn't do it in enough time and i know which cake my mom likes and rouse has good cake so i think i'm gonna go to rouse even though like I still want it, I want it to be cute, but we'll see what I can do. So I'm gonna go get her cake, and then by the time I'm done with all that, it'll be time for a dinner. All right, y'all, errands are done. Mission accomplished, honey. Mission accomplished. Y'all, oh my God, wait, hold on, let me, let me just. Okay, first of all, I went to Trader Joe's. I got my flowers. Oh, so many freaking flowers. These are for my mom. The bouquet with the sunflowers and stuff is for my mom. The white ones are mine for my house. 
Um, oh Lord, if I drop this cake, Lord. Then I got the cake from Rouse. Her favorite cake is Oh Jesus. Okay. Her favorite cake is German chocolate cake. So Rouse has a really good German chocolate cake. She likes coconut. Like she's a coconut type of girl. And I think I get that from her because I don't mind coconut. And a lot of people do not mind don't like coconut. Like she used to always eat almond joys when I was growing up. And I love almond joy, honey. Um, I'm a little frazzled because y'all I think my wisdom tooth is coming in at this big age of 26 and I know that it comes in well they say that it comes in from 17 to 25 and I just assumed that she wasn't gonna come because I'm 26 I'm a 27 I'm like is she gonna come but I feel like my brother got his around the same age so I'm just like oh, like I don't have time I literally don't have time to go get my wisdom tooth pulled and like have to recover from that like I just like don't have time for it and in my head right now I'm literally trying to figure out like <laughs> squeezing time into I'm like should I come down here Monday morning have them do the exam I'm like if they do the exam can y'all do it the same day like I'm about to really just call them but I also know I want to upload on Monday and then so I'm like Tuesday I have an event to go to I maybe I could do Wednesday Thursday like I got a meeting on like it's just like I don't have time for things like this and it hurts like a <laughs> my face is gonna be swollen but it hurts my jaw hurts right here and then I looked and I said something is creeping up in the back and I wish I could show y'all but I feel like that's kind of gross hold on I can't even open my mouth on and you know like anyways um, <laughs> I can't even open my mouth all the way to show y'all that deep into my mouth but it's back there it's back there my wisdom tooth is coming in and i just i'm just so sad but i can use an orco <laughs> i can use a day off <laughs> that is so sad i was literally talking to uh one of my babes uh the other day just about how i don't take time off like I just don't take time off but your body will force you into time off and I guess I gotta get my wisdom tooth pulled and I'm about to be out for a couple of days watch me be trying to work though like I'm gonna try to get as much work done and things just done before my wisdom tooth gets pulled and then like maybe while I'm recovering I could just be like editing things in the bed chair but I'm just sick about it because I just like it's the pain for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it done sooner than later. Well, give us a wise words on your birthday. I will say how old you are. <laughs> I am 64 years young. Oh, wow. I am very thankful to God that He has shown mercy and grace to me by giving me salvation, taking me from uh. A life of constant sin, perpetual sin, to now I am enjoying uh, the gift of eternal life. When I leave this earth, I know that I will be with Him. So if you want to know and be assured of that, then commit your life to Jesus Christ, go to church, live a healthy, um, vibrant life, um, stay away from a lot of vices and have high moral standards, don't compromise. Stay true to what you want and what you know you deserve. <laughs> you guys, it's Saturday. <laughs> okay, let me get it together. Literally, like, this has just not been my day, like, it's just not been my day. People have been irritating me all day. I don't like my hair. <laughs> I'm bloated. It's just not my day. <laughs> and I just, you know what it is, you guys. I need a break. I need a break. So I think after I drop this vlog, if I drop this vlog, because I'm thinking about just stopping it, I need like a week. I just need a week to come back and be the best Christine that I can be because I'm overwhelmed. I'm just really overwhelmed right now. Um, I feel like it's manifesting itself through 
from here to there, you know? But when we're overwhelmed, what do we do? We got a happy hour. Ah! So, <laughs> so that's where I'm on my way to right now. Uh, I'm getting ready to meet Destiny up at Joey's in Manhattan Beach. It's my first time going there. I've never been. She, but she said that I have a good happy hour. This is how you know I'm chaotic, y'all. I missed my freaking nail appointment. Like, missed my whole nail appointment. So now I'm out here looking dusty, but I put up an order at Ulta for some press ones because I have an event to go to tomorrow and my nail lady is not going to be at the shop on Sunday. <sighs> it's just like, make it make sense, you know? But I'm about to leave. Let me show you my outfit. I don't really like my outfit, but it is what it is. We're going to roll with the punches today. Like, I'm about to go get some cute little food, have a drink. Y'all can't even see me. Hold on. Okay. Let me <laughs> kick over packages that were delivered. <laughs> My life is so chaotic. You know what I need? I need an assistant. Like, I wonder, I've been hearing about, like, virtual assistants, and I'm going to look into that. Like, I'm really going to look into that because I need something. Like, I need some help you know but you guys this is the fit so I just have on you guys are not gonna be able to see me but I have on my good American jeans well let me I want to get the best angle I can get so let me do this okay all right y'all hopefully you guys can see me now ignore the packages and the shoes all the chaos that is my living room at the moment but i have on these good american jeans they're big you guys and they're big right here and that's why they just look like kind of saggy in this area i'm gonna have to figure that out and kind of get them tailored or just get another pair and size down because i don't know like, i have a short torso and i feel like these are made for girls with like either longer legs or a longer torso but you know whatever and then i just have on this little skims cotton rib tank top i just folded it to be a little crop and this long cardigan from pretty little thing it's actually a swim cover up um but she's a cardigan today it's like this cute like toweling material actually i wore this when we did the beach day so i wore this last to the beach and i already knew i knew when i bought it that she was going double as a cardigan and then i have on these cute little rings these are from amazon i got my amazon store back they tried to suspend it because i had used the amazon logo on one of my videos apparently you're not supposed to do that but that video was dumb oh it was from like two years ago so i just deleted the thumbnail and then i got these rings on oh god it's so ghetto these are <laughs> from miss lola they're so cute they're like these thick little rings and you can kind of stretch them um they came in a set of three so i have a third one i just didn't put it on this one takes this little gold clutch it's like bottega inspired from amazon and that is the fit y'all i will see y'all <laughs> i will see y'all in the car because i got to go I say we think different. I, 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 I,
Okay guys, I'm trying an espresso martini for the first time. Let's see how this is. beautiful girls you've ever seen in your life just <laughs> actually I'm really not kidding but it's us <laughs> it's me and Key happy Sunday y'all so today we are going well we are here we're just like doing a little car touch up you know but we're at a event for black girl sunscreen a little swim event we forgot to do outfit checks so we were running late it starts at 12 it's like 120 <laughs> fashionably 119 late. yeah um so i'm really excited i'm nervous i'm just really excited yeah there's some like content this. i'm trying to get some sunscreen and get some content and walk around they talk about Kiki. uh the pool uh getting in the pool is highly suggested grown Oh, you part on. I'm not doing that. Please. I love y'all. I love you, Black Girl Sunscreen. Sure, but I don't know. Oh, yes, hey vlog. Make sure you subscribe. Here to my YouTube channel, like key dot i l l e n a. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Period. Um, the same as my Instagram. If you guys like a lifestyle, when well, I got travel content coming, right? Super lifestyle, aesthetic. fashion, just the vibes. Like, go ahead and follow me. Follow your girl. Subscribe yes. to your girl. So. Subscribe. Of course, I'll be posting her when she posts her first vlog. Whatever that's gonna be. Ooh. It gonna go up. It's gonna go up. I'm gonna we need to do a little like a little put, intro for mine too. Wanna put you on the mount? Should we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, y'all. We're about to go into this event. Bye. We'll see y'all in there. I'm nervous. Oh my god. I'm I'm gonna be here. <laughs> I know. It's black girl sunscreen. <laughs> Go bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I'm the one by default, and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt, oh. I no go feed the girl, I no go feed the girl, it's out, oh. I'm a mind as you can talk, oh. I put my life into my job, and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. I know holy, and I know that devil. Like the Baba Frayo. Sunscreen and you go natural for collaborating with Sunday to Sunday. Woo! 
Let's try that again. I want to thank Black Girl Sunscreen. And you, Woo! yes. Woo! Never before had three brands with the same initiative collaborated. I love this. I love this for us. Let's keep it going. Grab your swim turbines. Grab your RJ swim sets. Because in 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to pull out a volleyball net. We're going to have a friendly game of water volleyball. And I need all the women in swimsuits to get in the water. This is not one of those swim parties where you come and look cute. Do that, but get in the water. Cool? <laughs> get your last bit of ice cream. Let's get it. Babes, I'm back home. Da -da, da -da, do -do. You know how I feel with his hair? I haven't told y'all about this hair. It's from... um. I don't remember. I'll put it in the bio. But <laughs> um, I'm back home from my girl sunscreen event. It was really fun, you guys. It was a cute event with my girl, Key. That's my boo. She just left. Um, I just love her. Like, you guys, when she dropped the vlogs, when she dropped the vlogs, when she dropped the vlogs, y'all better go. Because that's my boo. Like, that is my girl. When I tell y'all, like, me and her same person same like energy same types of vibe like y'all will love her but the event was real cool you guys like i just like i have another event on tuesday and just like the realization of like dang you're doing this like you really like you're do like you 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 know what I mean? Like, sometimes I don't sit in things, y'all. Like, I don't sit in things. And um, I'm just so motivated right now. Because, like, people that I wouldn't even think see me, see me. And I'm so hard on myself. But, like, I've been having, like, big brands. Like, hey, I want you to come to our event. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just, like today's a day for y'all like today's a day if you want to create content create content be the content like be the con literally be the content you are the content your life is the content you don't have to like go out of your way to do a b and c like every little thing you do is a content you're going to target do a little cute little target haul make it cute make it aesthetic make it something that people want to see like you're the freaking content and it's just like crazy not me talking about making cute and aesthetic with my missing nail but like it's just crazy that this is like this is life like i get to go to events and it's really because of y'all because y'all really be supporting me my girls my gang gang i need a name for y'all what do y'all want to be called like Tell me something good, y'all. Like, comment down below what y'all want to be called. Should I call y'all, like... Like, I know I call y'all babes, but, like, that's just a general term. Like, people say babes all the time. But, like, because when I, when I drop something, I want y'all name to be on it, you know? So... <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't want to like... Chrissy gang like ooh, I don't like it I don't like that that's not the vibe I don't know I'm just calling y'all my babes keep calling guys my babes for the time being until someone gives me something that's cuter maybe we can do something like with Candid and Chrissy like somewhere I don't know I'm creative I'll think of it it'll come to me at 3am <laughs> you know but yeah y'all so it's like 4 o'clock honestly You know when you want to do something, but you're like, what is that something going to be? I don't know. I have two chicken tenders left from Wingstop yesterday. Maybe I'll sit on the couch and just eat that for the time being. But, I don't know. I feel pretty too. I look pretty. I think I just really like myself with curly hair, you know? Because the straight hair was like not doing it for me at all. But... I just want to check in with y'all. I don't know. I also got a bunch of clothes this week I want to show y'all. I was supposed to have a rug delivery today, which I was, like, really irritated that I didn't come. 
maybe it will still come but last time i checked it's like not even in the state of california so i'm a, i'm assuming that it's gonna come hopefully tomorrow because i would love to show y'all the area rug that i picked out because i waited for this rug y'all i waited a year for this rug to go on sale a year i kind of forgot about it then i happened to be like you know what i think i do want an area rug in here and i got on rugs usa and they had the rug for 65 percent off it was originally 1300 dollars, and it was marked down to 400 something and i was like oh i have to get it it's a sign so i'm just like redoing like little elements of the house um, and just like really trying to prepare myself for my eye is quivering. Can you guys see it? Oh, now I don't want to do it. Okay. Anyways, I'm just trying to prepare myself for what's coming because big things are coming. Um, but I just have like not been getting enough sleep or anything. So I think I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. Cause I think, isn't it like when your eye is quivering, that's a sign that you don't get enough sleep. I'm taking that. <laughs> I'll be back. Mwah. Y'all, I'm so freaking tired. Like I can't even. I can't even. I can't even put together sentences. Like y'all know, like when you're just so tired and you just can't even go to bed. Like I'm just. I'm like working off of adrenaline. Like I. I'm just so tired. I can't even go to sleep and i don't know why i don't know what it's been but it's really been like this for like a week and some change i'd be up late up early like it's it's really a problem and i think it's because my mind just races and races so i'm gonna have to start back taking some type of supplement to knock me out at night because i be awake like y'all have no idea like i stay up this one like this one i be telling y'all this stuff so y'all appreciate the creative process of like some of your favorite influencers and stuff i'll be up late at night <laughs> making mood boards planning outfits planning content like thinking of stuff to do for y'all looking at messages comments like i be up your girl be up like and it's so hard for me to shut my brain down because i'm like doing i'm doing a little subtle rebrands and y'all will see some things that are coming up like very very soon and i'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for the next couple of months of my life because the next couple months are about to be just like crazy i have a meeting tomorrow which i'm so nervous for even though I'm having the meeting because I got accepted into what I wanted to be accepted into. So, okay, whatever. I'm a, I, I'll tell y'all later. But <laughs> uh, I have a big meeting tomorrow. Very excited for that. And it's just like, it's time to step it up. Like, it's really trying to step it up. Like, when Nicki Minaj says step your cookies up before they crumble, like, step your cookies up before they crumble. Like, it, it sounds ignorant. It sounds crazy. But step your cookies up before they crumble like she knew exactly what she was saying step your cookies up before they crumble like get it together work hard step up what needs to be stepped up because the next person gonna do it like and that's just at the end of the day the next person is gonna have your idea as well like you have to sit on an idea a lot of y'all sit on creative things a lot of y'all sit on things i didn't even mean to do a rant right now but here i go y'all know a lot of people sit on things and i am guilty of it i am so guilty of it i sit on things all the time just like different ideas that i want to do different content that i want to make things like i sit on things all the time and that's over like that is so over like it's time to like get your morning routine together that's what i'm trying to work on it's time to elevate if you need to get up at 6 30 in the morning 
then go to bed at 10 o'clock at night like that's listen i'm preaching to myself on that one because i want to be the girl that gets up at 6 30 in the morning goes on her walk does her girl with joe or something goes to the park like you know does her devotion her journaling and then is able to start her day and i can end my day around like five and six and just have my my personal time at night like I want to be that girl so bad but you guys I'm so like you would think that I'm organized the way that I'm able to just push content out it, it's not it's not that at all I'm the most unorganized person in the world and that's why behind the scenes I'm in shambles behind the scenes I am frazzled because I know I have schedules and things I have to do but my I'm just like chaotic all the time. <laughs> That's why honestly, like I, I'm like within the next couple months, I'll probably hire like a virtual assistant or somewhere. If I could hire an in-person part-time assistant, because I'm not that popping yet. Like I don't need nobody here full time, you know. Um <laughs> me and Key were in the car, we were like, if I could have a nanny at my big age. <laughs> like for real though like somebody that is just gonna cook clean run my errands do the little things that i need them to do i tried to get my mom to do it for me i'm like you want a little job she like girl please my mom work for me her whole my whole life my mom is like absolutely not so i don't know i just believe in like we're all gonna spend our money on something at the end of the day. We're gonna spend our money on some type of luxury, whether it's Starbucks, getting our nails done, lashes, hair, whatever the case may be. But if I can spend some money to make my life a little easier and a little less stressful, and so I can do what I need to do with more peace so I can make the money to fund my life, and have good like good, be a good mental standing and not feel overwhelmed and stressed and tired all the doggone time then guess what i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it like hiring a housekeeper cleaning lady virtual assistant it's gonna get done anyways that's not even what i bought y'all to the couch for <laughs> i bought y'all to the couch to show you guys all the goodies that i got all the goodies that I got um from this weekend and just PR that was sent to me. I have another big package over there. Oh, I don't feel like getting up to get it, but I might. Oh, give me a second. Okay. Where um oh shoot. Oh. Okay. Um <laughs> Okay, so this first little package is from the event I went to today. So this was a collab event with Sunday to Sunday, uh, flexing my curls or go natural something. Oh my God, let me not get this wrong, you guys, because that's not the move. Go natural. So it was a collab event with Black Girl Sunscreen that's who invited me um you go natural and my sunday to sunday i've heard of my sunday to sunday it's my first time being introduced to you go natural and you know the girls love black girl sunscreen so um this is a little tote bag we love a tote we love a tote it says my sunday to sunday on the front and they're all black owned so that was extra special to just be at a brand event with brands that I know are black owned and are doing their thing. And it was in Volley Hills, which y'all know, like I'm from the area. And just to be like, it was just, I, sometimes I still get like, wow, this is my life. Like, that's so crazy to me. It's like, y'all, I, y'all really, I just love y'all. Like, I could literally make a whole 30 minute video about how much I love my supporters. <laughs> but okay first things first we walked in it was a cute little vibe as you guys saw that guy they was like cute little guy I was like look at this little hottie right here but you know he's like typical LA guy like mm, I ain't that, uh. and I know like at the end of the day he was not shaking for me I'm like yeah you can tell when a guy doesn't like big girls I'm like next anyways um but he I could just tell like typical LA dude like mm. and he knew he was fine like he was like of his chest like you know when guys be moving their chest up and down like ew ew <laughs> i don't like stuff like that but they gave us a cute little beach town 
I'm assuming because I don't want to okay I'm just gonna unfold it I was like I really don't want to unfold this but it has the black girl sunscreen logo on it very cute because I have a pool day coming up with the girls and then I got this cute little visor ow what my nail I have this cute little visor from um Sunday to Sunday she was like girl it's hot out here I got visors and they stretch I'm did I just break it? Oh my god. See? And they're cute. They have this little like leather detail. They're black. Um, they stretch because they know the girls be having the natural hair and the wigs. And no, that's right. Is that fit? Oh, it would fit. I just have a clip on the back of my hair. Got products from Black Girl Sunscreen. Of course, this is the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Glow Continuous Sunscreen Spray for Face and Body. Y'all, I tried this one at the event. I loved it. Like, my skin is so soft. And y'all know sunscreen. Like, if you don't use Black Girl Sunscreen, baby, what are you losing? But the next products I got are from Sunday to Sunday. So this first one is the Micellar Rinse. Inf oh, wait. This is the Root Refresh. So it's Micellar Rinse infused with apple cider vinegar. So this is their version of... Um, uh dry shampoo so like you know when you're in between washes and you need to refresh your hair so it doesn't like have a smell and this one's really good because like it's made for black hair like micellar water infused with apple cider vinegar yes and she told us like the reason behind all that well let me see so it says that the micellar water cleanses and revise, renews, and refreshes in between washes, removing product buildup and excess oil without stripping hair of its natural oils. And I really do want to start wearing my natural hair out again. <laughs> I'm just so lazy. Um, so this will come in good use. And I also want to use this like in between wig changes with my um my wig braids. Like, cause sometimes, you know, under wigs you might sweat, and then I apply oil to my braids and like edge control and the buildup. So, you know, use different products for different things. And this is the daily moisturizing spray. Is this for your hair? Or is this for your body? This light moisturizing formula fights frizz and humidity. Oh, this is for your hair. This is dope. This is a really dope product. Like a daily moisturizing spray. The mist pampers your hair with nourishing ingredients that bring to life shine and renewing boost back to those weighted down curls. Suitable for slightly wavy to very tight coily textures. Daily use will help to reduce itch and flakes due to dry scalp in just 28 days. Wow. I'm going to try this. Hold on. I think it's locked. I want this to work in my weeks. This is really bomb, y'all. Y'all should try this. I think they sell this at Ulta and Sephora, so you know they legit. <laughs> Next, I got this huge package from Goalie Nutrition. Y'all, I love me some Goalie. Like, I really do. They're the home of the apple cider vinegar gummies. And I'm actually going to their event on Tuesday. So she was like, I'm going to send you the full product line. I'm like, girl, I know that's right. Girl, I love events. And they're like, I'm going to send you an Uber code and everything. I'm like, yeah. So I have a full product line, y'all. I'm going to just go through this, like, real quick. So this is the Goalie Triple Action Immune Gummies, which is perfect for right now because y'all are here with these pots, honey. And this is the Goalie Nutrition Super Fruit Gummies. I'm going to really go through and read through everything because I, okay, I'm not great with taking vitamins, but I need to take vitamins. And this is the Goalie Bites Multi Vitamins. So they look like little Snickers. Me and Key tried them last night. They're good. They taste healthy, but they're good. This is the Goalie Complete Kids Multi Gummies. So obviously this is going to the babies. And then <laughs> this is the Goalie Super Green Gummies. This I'm excited for. Like this I know I need in my life because I just don't think I get enough vegetables in my diet. This is the Goalie Women's Complete Multi Gummies. Definitely excited for this one as well. This is the Goalie Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. Very excited for these, honey. Like, these, I think, promote, like, weight loss and... 
Yeah, they promote weight loss and something else. You guys know what apple cider vinegar does. And they're gluten-free, vegan, cruelty-free, all that. And these are the Calm Goalie Bites. Baby, I love these. These are the ones Key and I tried last night. When I tell you we was both about to be knocked out on this couch, it, like, really soothed my body. It gives you good effect of, like, what CB does, CBD does. These are the Energy Bites. Which I kind of want to take one right now, but I need to actually go to sleep. And then these are the Ashwagandha gummies. I don't know a lot about Ashwagandha or what it does. You guys, if you know, let me know. So it's to relax, restore, and unwind. I'm definitely going to try those. Might try that tonight. And these are the Goalie Dreamy Sleep Gummies. Now, these are the ones that I really need to take tonight because I need to go to bed but yes i have the full but i'm so excited that they gave me the full product line shout out to you goalie thank you so much i'm so excited to go to the event this week and take my girls with me yes um you guys i'm so tired i can't even talk like my mouth is so dry but yeah, uh, i'm about to go get my postmate because it is outside my door i had two posts don't judge me okay so this week is the last week that i'm gonna be door dashing a postmate the way that i do the only reason I've, i i used to stop explaining myself to y'all so much like this is <laughs> but listen no because y'all can keep me accountable i need to start cooking more for myself um and feeding myself better i just like I kind of have like let myself go in the past couple of months and you know it's just it's just one of those things where I don't feed myself properly like sometimes I barely eat sometimes I don't eat much because I'm just doing other things sometimes I beat myself up for what I ate like it's just like I'm trying to change my relationship with food like that's really what it all boils down to but this is my last day of postmating and door dashing the way that I do I did some light grocery shopping Saturday I ordered some groceries from Amazon Prime and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and just do like a full like pantry and fridge restock of just like healthy things and things that I can cook for myself because I need to cook more and it's gonna help me tremendously in like every area you know so yeah y'all I'm about to go get my food I got Chinese food I'm not gonna hold y'all like I just I don't know I was craving that I just wanted like a little noodle you know a little chow mein something to chew on but just <laughs> okay i'm about to go eat i don't know if i'm coming back on camera tonight if not i will see y'all later